guys, welcome back to another how to install video. Uh, Steve over here at ABC Sewing Machine. Uh, again, you know, we briefly covered over uh, the benefits of these new LED lights for the sewing lights. Um, now I just want to go over the basics of how to show you how easy it is to actually install it and get it up and going um, on your sewing machines. We'll start with um, wiring both of them up would be the same. We'll install the 15 LED light just because it has the pins on the end of it and it makes it a little bit easier. Um, when installing the single line, you're going to need some kind of wire stripper. You know, we have one right here that we've got from Radio Shack, you know, and just expose the wires as so. And then you would actually just install the same way as you would this one. Okay, with that being said, um, you know, we all know the standard, which is this is your switch, which will be powering up your machine. Um, when you follow the lines in, there's only two ends to it. One end that goes to the wall to power the unit, and the other end is the one that actually plugs into your motor or control box servo motor, however way your setup is. But I mean, there's only two separation lines from here. Uh, from here, we always want to install to the side of where it connects to your motor. So if you look at the back of the switch right here as well, one side leads to the main plug going to the outlet, and the other one goes into your motor. So what we want to do is we want to start by opening up the frame. You'll take a Phillips screwdriver. There's one screw on the side right here. You just unscrew that like so. Now this is really small, so you don't want to lose it. So keep it somewhere where you can remember where it is. Okay. And then you just pop it right open. So one side open and one side out. Okay. Now from here, you'll actually notice on the back right here, there's these little grooves cut out. Okay that perfectly fits your wiring for the LEDs as so. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up screw number one right here and the bottom one right here. Mind you, you don't wanna take it out because you're working in such a small space. It just makes it harder for you to actually get it back in. Now for the wiring portion of it, it doesn't matter whether you put it in brown on top, blue on bottom, or blue on top, brown on bottom. But for this case right here, we'll just follow how the original motor switch wiring is. So the top is showing me brown. So I'll take my brown wire, slip it right on underneath, like so. Get my Phillips screwdriver again, and tighten that portion down. Okay. And we'll do the same for the bottom as well. So we'll take the blue and we'll put it back into where the blue is originally, like so. And we'll tighten it down again. Okay. Now the reason why we wired it up to this side right here is even though it has its own independent on and off switch, I mean when the machine is on, you want the lamp to be able to power on. And when you shut the machine off, you want the lamp to shut off as well. So if you were to plug it up on the other end right here where the outlet side of it is, the light would stay on constantly in the case of our six line LEDs um, light because it doesn't have an independent on and off switch on these. However, for the 15 um, LED one, we do have that option. So it just makes things easier. So, okay. So at this point, we're gonna close up the case. So as you can see right now, when you pull the wires back, it fits perfectly into the two grooves that have been already pre-cut out onto your switch box. Okay, so again, once you pull back the wires like so, You'll see how it fits perfectly into the grooves that are already pre-cut out onto uh, onto the uh, the back of the uh, the switch box. Okay. Now from here, you're going to take your cover again. Okay. Now the side not with the screw. It'll have a little slot cut out like so. You actually match it up to the pin that's actually sticking out. Okay. And it fits in perfectly like this. Okay. At this point, what we're going to do is we're going to put the screw back in. Tighten it down with our screwdriver. And there you go. That's it. Just to show you how easy it is and how quickly we can do this, we're going to turn the switch on. So as you can see right now, the lamp isn't powered on because its independent switch is on the off position. But once you turn it on, you have your new LED lamp quickly installed, ready to go and hit your next project. Another thing for this particular one is that you can actually put this on an independent plug, like I mentioned to you before. 
So instead of hooking this up to your switch like we originally, or we just did right now, what you would do is you wire it up to one of these plugs that we carry here at the shop as well. And then here you can, for any project you have, like a cutting project, you can put on your cutting table or your design table and you need some extra light, then you know you can always plug this in. And since it's dual magnets already here, you can basically mount it onto any like metal surface so it can stick on there. All right, guys, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and the instructions. I hope you guys find it easy to put one of these on your own machines. If you have any questions, you know, send us comments, feedbacks, subscribe, follow the link below, and then we'll keep it coming with more videos. Thanks again, guys.